All right, my favorite people, White Sterling here, back at it again with another topic for you on why you should stop saving money, literally now at this very uh, moment. Uh, and just gotten a ring the other day, so sparring, and got beat up pretty bad. Not like literally beat up, I don't have a black eye or anything, but it was my first time in there, and there's quite a bit of improvement, and it felt as when I was in there, I, I was overthinking a lot of things because it's my first time being in the ring and was very similar to actually for being the first time of riding a bike or even at driving a car. Uh, so it just takes time as I uh, get in there and get comfortable, that's when I really start to let my hands go, which is what the, the coach was uh, providing me feedback afterwards after he ended up punching me in the face a couple times. But I digress. So why this topic is important is that there is really, and this is just a personal experience there, I've seen a shift from an economic standpoint that saving your money really isn't as beneficial and actually could end up costing you uh, in the future. So definitely you'll want to stay tuned until the very end uh, to get these uh, insights. This piece of paper is worthless. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> I'm, I am giving you guys a finance class right now. How many finance majors here? I spent five years in accounting. They didn't teach me this. Money is a piece of paper. It's worthless. The first and foremost point is that you are actually losing value. A uh, hundred thousand dollars today will not, you will not be able to purchase it will not have the same purchasing power as it will in five to 10 years from now. And uh, and this is where inflation actually uh, comes into play. And I remember having a uh, phone conversation with my uh, brother, for instance, on this very uh, same topic of inflation. And one of the examples I provided to him was just the printing of, of all this money. I said that, hey, uh, Stephen, just think of an example that these uh, Yeezys or a pair of Yeezys, uh, for instance, that let's say there is a hundred out there in the U.S. Uh, economy that Kanye has uh, put out there and there's a very high demand for those is that the price of those is going to go high or going to be higher. However, if he puts out a million of those out there, then the price is actually going to go down. Uh, so that is a prime example that with money, there's more supply out there. So with that, the actual uh, value of it is going to go down. Uh, so those are some things that you just want to uh, consider when you have your money sitting in a bank, uh, for instance, that's earning point zero 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 one two uh per percent uh that is with that is you're losing money when you uh factor in inflation at some point in the future we may actually go into negative uh interest rates which there's some parts in the world uh to where now you're actually paying the bank to actually store your money uh at the end of the day uh and so that's what i have on that uh, particular point there is that by saving money you're actually losing money in the long term the next point is that you want to actually invest. And this is just a personal experience, experience share for myself is that I get nervous having my money sit in the bank. I want to put that to use, put it in different type of investments that are out there. Maybe the stock market, maybe crypto, uh, rental uh, properties. So you put it into assets to where you're actually able to get appreciation. So the value of the asset goes up uh, and hopefully you're buying in good to, to great locations. But in general, just over since the test of time, real estate has actually gone up. Uh, so one, your money, uh, real estate is being a hedge against inflation. So not only are you parking your money, uh, the, the assets going up, and then also depending on how uh, your investment philosophy is that you're getting a return on your money as well. And your money is actually working for you. It's like little mini, uh, little mini workers that's out there. Uh, and this was a, a shift in my uh, thought process is that money can actually be used as a tool to actually go out and get more money to grow. And then you just keep on doing that. Uh, and I was not taught this uh, growing up. I was taught to actually be a consumer and I went into debt and overspent 
to be a, a consumer, which ended up uh, costing me. Uh, and I ended up recovering from that, uh, luckily, but I ended up pivoting my mindset very quickly. And most people don't pivot uh, their mindset and come across the types of information such as rich dad, poor dad, richest man in Babylon, uh, Grant Cardone's the, there's Dave Ramsey that people listen to as well. Some people don't come across this information soon enough and they go along this path until uh, not only their 20s, their 30s, but some people's 40s. Uh, and when they get to uh, uh, later ages, they're like, I don't have any money to retire on or actually even live on. And then they actually have to get assistance from the, the government, not knocking anyone from getting assistance from the government, but much prefer that you have your own control in your own hand versus selling, uh, helping you out. That's just my personal uh, opinion on that. So investing and the last but not least thing you want to do uh, right now, instead of saving your money is actually studying money uh, itself and reading books such as the intelligent investor for instance or think and grow rich uh, to understand on a high level how this can be used as an actual uh, tool uh, because a lot of the the programming and the agendas that are uh, being pushed out there and I'm not getting into any uh, conspiracies or anything is not so much of investors actually consume because let's think of all these uh, companies that are out there Amazon uh, Apple uh, Tesla, uh, for instance, is that they want you to buy their product. So they're putting advertisements and all that out there in order for you to uh, become consumers. So you just have to, to rewire your whole uh, frame of thinking. And this is a personal experience share that I had to go through uh, myself uh, that, hey, this is actually a tool in itself. Don't exchange your time for money. Uh, actually provide a service and build a business that, and build a business to not give yourself uh, a, another job. So all these things, I just had to reframe my uh, thinking that you can actually make money while you sleep. Oh, interesting. Uh, how do I uh, do that? Uh, and instead of thinking that, well, that person can do that, there's no way I can do it. It's just asking the question how I could do that. So those are the things that you want to start to do now instead of saving money because especially in the economy uh, that we're uh, in to today is that you're actually losing money when you park it in the bank uh, it used to be and this was my great grandparents or just great grandparents where when you would put your money in the bank you would actually really get a, a decent to good uh, co close to double digit return from my understanding but that's not the case now uh, is you're earning it's essentially, essentially you're just putting your money there but in essence is you're losing money when you uh, factor in uh, inflation. So I appreciate you all so much. Go ahead and comment below. Uh, those of you on the YouTube of, are there some anything, uh, are there some uh, things that I may have missed when it comes to saving uh, money or some other assets that you're looking into actually investing in? Go ahead and put that below. Not any of you scammers, please don't do that. Uh, and then those of you uh, who are on, uh, let's say the podcast, uh, for instance, go ahead and leave that rating. It would mean the world. And uh, those of you on YouTube, hit that subscribe button as well as the like. It's completely free and it really goes a long way. Until then, keep being awesome, you all. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.